So hey guys, we're back now with Bayonetta and we have a very special guest on the stream joining us. We have Helena Taylor, who is the Hi, voice of Bayonetta. <laughs> I did you. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted you introducing yourself. <laughs> Um, so if you've got questions for, for Helena, um, just ask them in the, in the stream and we are going to pick the best ones to ask her while um, for him is playing the game. So let's just see if we've got any questions already. We don't at the moment, but that's fine. Oh, and here we go. What's your favourite? This is from uh, Lightning Bolt Marty. What's your favourite quote in Bayonetta? Um, I like, you know, I'm rather fond of stuff, Dan. <laughs> Brilliant. That's um, my favourite one. And then um, Dread Angel, um, this, is, this is just a question I wanted to ask you as well. Um, it's it's nearly ten years now since the first Bayonetta was released. So so um, what's it like to be the voice of Bayonetta, and uh, you know how's the how's the character evolved for you over the last few games? Oh my goodness! Well. When I did the first game, I had no idea who she was. I wasn't given a script. Um, I didn't know, I didn't have any visuals at all except one line drawing of her. So it was all in my imagination. And then the second one, I, I had a bit more idea of what I was doing. Cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, what aspect of this is from Dante86 DMC. Yes. What aspect of Bayonetta's character most appeals to you? Um, or is her most defining, in your opinion? Um, I like her sassiness a yeah. lot. <laughs> yes, that's my favourite bit. She's very yes. sassy, isn't yeah. she? Um, <laughs> what's your favourite food from Zelda Fan 1002? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, um, my mother's Austrian, so I'm rather fond of very good European cakes. Ah, OK. So, Sacha Torte something like that. I've never had what is torta. It's a, it's a really good um, chocolate cake. It's wonderful. I think we, can, ding, ding. we can all get on board with chocolate cake, <laughs> don't really we? Good. Yeah. Um, okay, so so I'm losing losing the thread quickly. Oh, here we go. Um, someone is asking Sonic Wind Blue is asking about the or, the auditions for Bayonetta and what yes. what that entailed. Um, well, I went in regularly to my voice agents, DPN, and, you know, I'd go in once, twice a week, and it just so happened that that day it was, I was given a, a little character line drawing in black and white and five lines, and I went in uh, to the booth on my own and did three different recordings mm. of these five lines, and then just walked out and carried on with my day. I, <laughs> I had no idea it was going to be so big in my life, so, wow. yeah. Um, it leads me on to something I was wondering about actually. If you were interested in getting into voice acting, if anyone watching on the stream is interested in getting into voice acting, what sort of advice would you give them? Um, I would strongly say train your voice. I uh, studied at Lambda for three years and we had this really great Sergeant Major voice coach. and um, <laughs> She was really tough on us, but I loved her. And the voice is like a muscle and to be able to do a lot of things in different ranges um, higher than you, lower than you, um, different facets of your voice. It's like a gym, you train your voice. Mm. So did it take a lot of voice training to perfect the uh, Bayonetta um, persona? Um, do you know, it was just really as a result of the improv that I did in the audition. And they seemed to like it, so I went in and did the same thing in the uh, record. So it just sort of came out of you, basically? Yes. Oh, great. Okay. I just imagined someone quite powerful. Yeah. Um, I imagined that she was fighting dragons, because I had no idea, and that they were really scary, and she wasn't afraid. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Um, <laughs> OK, let's go back to the stream and see what other questions are being answered. Um, oh, Dread Angel's going to fanboy out for a minute because we asked his question. That's good to know. Glad you're pleased. <laughs> Um, da, da, da. Sorry, There's lots of questions coming in. So, have, um, E Grandison thirty seven wants to know if you, when you're recording, do you meet any of the other um, voice actors? No, you never meet anyone. Oh, okay. No, you never hear them. You don't hear the their lines um, in your ear. You just um, you're just alone. Is that synonymous with voice acting generally? Do you, yes. Do you, yeah, yeah. You often, it's often done alone. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, oh, so if you remember, 
Ami, Ami Tassou, or Tassau, sorry if I said that wrong, um, is asking what were the five lines from the audition? Do you remember? Now, I can't remember. Somewhere in my house there is a, a load of audition scripts and it's there somewhere, but I, I don't know exactly. That's fair enough. I imagine you do a lot of auditions. Yeah, so I was yeah. like remembering them all it was it was about two a week, so you know. <laughs> um, okay, so what other questions do you have here? And were you excited when you repri reprised the role in Bayonetta Two? Oh yes, yeah. yes, because I knew what I was doing. I knew. <laughs> Got I knew the character. character. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so. <laughs> hyped for Bayo 3 I think we, we can all agree everyone's hyped for Bayo 3 yeah, yeah. thanks <laughs> thanks Marzio um, <clears throat> so you've got a pretty dedicated fan base um, yes a lot of them on the stream yes. we've got one right here he's very, being very quiet <laughs> um and uh, you've, you came up with this great term to describe them, the, uh, and you're quite open about this on your Twitter feed, the Bayonutters. Yes, um, yes. So, <laughs> which I think is brilliant. Uh, what, what do you think it is that makes your fan base so special? Um, because they know so much about the game, they love the game, they love her and what she represents. Um, they're interested in strong, powerful women. And um, it's just, they're awfully sweet, and I... Um, interact with them on Twitter and so on, I enjoy that. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're very, uh, we've seen some of their interactions from uh, earlier today. Um, someone, when they came into the stream, uh, t told them that they were, told us they were wetting themselves with uh, excitement. So, <laughs> yeah, there's uh, it's a lot of, um, lot of very excited people on the stream. Um, do, 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 how do you, so, IV182 is asking, how do you like voice acting compared to um, screen acting because you've done um, some films and theatre yes. work as well so what's yeah. um, my favourite type of acting is stage acting and then voice acting I love voice acting because you're autonomous in the room you make a lot of decisions for yourself about how um, you imagine the character to be mm. um, and it actually it feels powerful in the room I'm, I'm very odd in the room I make a lot of movement um, I find that animates the voice a lot uh, and often they, the booth director laughs at me because I'm, <laughs> you know, acting out the, the scenes and everything. I guess it's natural to do that, right? Yeah. Because you, you, to, if you were to stand like this and deliver these... Yes, because like, you've got to free up the diaphragm, yeah. so it really helps. Mm. Yeah. That's cool. Um, voice acting. Voice, so voice acting is your favourite? Oh, uh, second second favourite. Second favourite, yeah. okay. Um, and in your opinion... Um, Okay, so sorry, I'm just reading this question in full before asking it. Otherwise, I'll um, I'll get it wrong. Okay, so Mars B4RS um, says, "What is your opinion on Bayonetta's character in today's modern world? People often argue on the case of oversexualizing in games, similar to this. Do you feel the same way or similar at any point, or?" Or do you feel that Bayonetta represents a very strong and powerful female character instead? Well, I get a lot of um, fan um, emails from women. Mm. And um, in particular, I remember a lovely girl in Japan who was very shy. And she had to play one of the three witches in the Scottish play. And she said, I'm modelling it on Bayonetta. And can you help me with some acting advice? Mm. So um, women find her empowering. Um, she doesn't enter into any sexual um, no. relations with anybody, um, but she does use her sexuality. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a character that's, I suppose, very different to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, I don't mind it. I think when you play a character, you have to accept that character yeah. and not judge her. Mm. Well, we think she's great, so. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Veronica Janae uh, asks, has anyone ever come up to you other than us, because we already have done this today, uh, and asked you for your autograph or picture? Um, they don't know what I look like, so no, but we had something interesting in, um, what was it, computer repair shop in Nashville, right. where... Um, someone was being really gypped by these computer repair people and um, 
she found out that I was Bayonetta and uh, I basically went and said, Bayonetta tells you to fix this darn computer or I'll kick your ass. <laughs> Did you do it in the voice? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> so that's the only sort of live interaction with a fan that I've had. That's great. And did he? Did he fix it? Um, yes, they did. Good. Yes. Good. <laughs> um, and oh, they were a bit scared as well. I can imagine, yeah. <laughs> if they had to tell me to, uh, to do anything, I think I'd be moderately They were giving too. her the runaround, so <laughs> just thought I'd step in. <laughs> That's great. Um, would... No. Oh, no. Some of these questions are similar to ones we've already asked, guys. If you've got any, any different questions, that would be great. Um, there's a lot of love for your uh, for your um, national story coming by the stream as well, <laughs> which is cool. Um, how are you getting on there, Fahim? Uh, camera, I'm going by, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to criticise the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's just controller. Oh. Do you have any questions for Helena? Not at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> um, so, Kayo Kayser, um says, do you think voicing Bayonetta has changed you in any way? Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> Except in computer shops in Nashville. Except yes. <laughs> where it's made you a complete badass, basically. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Ace Breaker Seven says, "I think you're fabulous, Helen." Well, thank you. That's nice. Thank isn't you it? very much. Thank it's you. Lovely. Um, and and Milena um, thinks you should come to more conventions. I never get invited. Oh, we'll we'll invite you to a convention. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll come. Yeah. I'll come. That's, Definitely. That's outrageous. Why have you? <laughs> we're all looking at this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you joined in October, but we're totally blaming you. Yeah. We'll um, stack the work up on you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think we've had this one already about your favourite line from Bayonetta, but I guess, um, oh, Dr. Scott Nick says, this question may have got lost. As an actor, how does your vocal delivery change from film to theatre and voice acting work? That's a good question. Yes, that's a great question. Um, film, you do not project your voice at all. It's very internal. Mm. Um, for theatre, it depends entirely on the space. I've... Uh, done plays in 2,000 seater theatres or small intimate you know 200 seater theatres so you just you gauge the space and for voice acting it was rather theatrical with Bayonetta because she was shouting a lot mm. and um, you know you'd never have her whispering would you she no. does, she's not that kind of character so um, I would say it's more theatrical okay so do you have to keep your voice in I presume in very good shape all the time I always do a warm up yeah. um, before recording and before ed every audition. Mm. And um, I found that really helped when I was in LA because most voice actors in LA haven't been trained and um, they don't warm up before the audition. So. Oh, really? Yeah. So, was all the recording for Bayonetta um, done in LA? Yes. Yes. So, it was very nice. I'd already moved for, for Bayonetta 2, I'd already moved back here mm. um, and they flew me out. and recorded over there again. Great. Which is great, I got to see all my friends in LA. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, where's... Oh, Dread Angel, is, he's, he's back. He had to take a little moment because he was too excited, but he says, <laughs> he says uh, if you see this, and I just want to say you're an awesome person and your work as Bayonetta has really been an inspiration for me. Oh, oh bless you, nice. thank you. <laughs> So what, what type of, this is a question from uh, Thigolf, or Thigolf, yes. sorry, these are very strange spellings, so if I'm getting the pronunciation wrong, I apologise. Um, what kind, type of characters do you like playing the most? Um, my favourite character was an evil queen in Cymbeline, which was Shakespeare's um, play. Mm. Um, I kind of enjoy characters that are strong, like Bayonetta. She was really fun to play. Um, but characters that are written well and have some sort of strength to them. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Bit of bit of meat to them. Yes. Character. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, 
what was your so Blue Tidal Gamer asked what I think you may have covered this one what your favourite theatre production was you just mentioned one there but do you have a favourite oh that I've seen or that I've been in um, he, he doesn't specify let's, let's do both <laughs> um, actually I saw an amazing production of the Three Sisters um, by the Vaktangov shit um theatre company, it was a Russian company, okay. and it was all in Russian, it was amazing. Um, I love Jerusalem by Jez Butterworth. Um, I go and see a lot of plays, so I, I enjoy plays. Um, yeah. I would say anything by Shakespeare or Chekhov that I've been in, yeah. that I've enjoyed most. Yeah. Cool. Um, was there anything you... <laughs> Like Lightning Bolt Marty wants to know if there was anything that you didn't like doing while while uh, voicing Bayonetta. Yes, um, I didn't like doing the grunts. <laughs> 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 um, Chris Zimmerman Salter, who's the wonderful uh, booth director, um, says that all the boys love to do the grunts and the girls hate it. <laughs> <laughs> But Brilliant. she was very kind. She saved it till the end of the recording day, so I didn't shoot my voice out. So you just had yeah. to do a, a chain of grunts. Chain of grunts, or <laughs> uh, or you know, being just it's it's just ridiculous. I can imagine. And that's what like. I mimed a lot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you had to do some action yes. with the grunts. Brilliant. <laughs> um, so oh, there's loads of questions coming in now. I can barely keep up with them. Oh, so Virtuous Sanus says that you recorded a an iconic line from Virtua Fighter in Bayonetta, where you had to speak a line in Japanese. Um, was that was that difficult to do? Isn't that interesting? I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember doing it. Can't have been it. that difficult. <laughs> I I can't remember doing it. Maybe, maybe uh, Virtuous Sanus. I couldn't remember doing Rosa either, but oh. then someone mentioned it, and I thought, oh yes, I do remember doing Rosa. <laughs> Oh, someone else wants to know what your favourite food is. We've covered this. It was Austrian chocolate cake. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. It takes a long time to catch up on these questions, doesn't it? Um, oh, uh, Zelda, Zelda fan one thousand two uh, wants to know if you can summon a demon for us. I, I think that's impossible. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you donate thousand pounds. <laughs> yes. If we hit the target. We'll give away this PC case, and Helena will summon will a summon demon a for you. Um, <laughs> so, oh, have you have you picked out any questions that I've missed? literally as soon as I see them, you see them. Oh, okay, great. Oh. Is, there, is there a cow? This is a good question from, from Marzio. Is there any character you'd really like to voice, or, or, or a character that I guess exists in popular culture that you, that you would have loved to have voiced yourself? <gasps> That's a great question. I'd, I'd need some time to think about that. I'm not sure. I'd like to have voiced Optimus Prime. Oh, right. That would have been amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just he's got the best lines. It just takes me back to my childhood. <laughs> Why are you laughing? He wasn't even thinking about this for a long time. No, no, he literally <laughs> just popped into my head. I love Optimus Prime. I probably shouldn't talk about him on the street. Yes, actually, I've got one. Go on. Paddington. Paddington. Ah. <laughs> Brilliant. But Ben Wishaw did a better job, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll never know, will we? No, yeah, so, true. I think we should have a direct comparison for the next Paddington movie. Um, Oh, we, we've had some. We've had it cleared up about the Virtue of Fighter line. Uh, that's actually not very clear to me at all. I'm afraid. Um, <laughs> Favorite ice cream flavor. The the really important questions coming in now. Yes, pistachio. Yeah, pistachio. That's a great flavor. Mm. Good choice. Yeah. We've had. What was you? What do you have? Any other really enjoyable lines from Bayonetta? Because lots of lots of people are asking about your favorite line, and I know you you, you mentioned it earlier, but. Um, do you have any other lines that you really enjoy? Gosh, it's really difficult because I don't play the game, which some people are surprised at. <laughs> and the first one I recorded about 10 years ago, and they don't give you a script beforehand at all. You get half a second to 
look at it and then you record oh, okay. it and you record it three times and then you have to go on to the next one so it's literally thousands of lines that you do mm. and they do not let you keep a script so how, because how they're so afraid of leaks so I that actually makes sense yeah, yeah. Um, probably the fans know more about it than I do <laughs> so maybe if you if you wouldn't mind Helena um, if we got some some of the people on the stream to submit their favourite lines, would you mind? And then I'll you? yes, absolutely. Yeah? Okay, so guys, if you've got a favourite line from Bayonetta, um, put it in the stream, and um, and and Helena will will say them for you. <laughs> so we'll pick a few of those. It will be interesting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bayonetta sales. PG rated, of course. <laughs> um, so while people are putting their favourite lines in, the, twi the stream's going a bit mad now, I really can't keep up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is a really good question. So you were talking about the grunts earlier, which uh, obviously when Bayonetta is hitting people yes. or being hit. Yeah, so yeah. when you were doing the grunts, was there anything in particular or anyone in particular you were imagining hitting? <laughs> um, just giant monsters. Gi <laughs> Giant monsters, because I didn't know what I was supposed to be fighting. Right. It's it's a really ridiculous way of working for someone who's used to rehearsal. But <laughs> um, yeah, giant monsters. Fair enough. We all want to hit giant monsters. I would run away from them personally. But yeah. Um, for him, look, fun, thumbs up. You want to hit some giant monsters? Oh, it's just a really I oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought of any questions yet? Stunned silence. No, but it's getting gold medals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. You're not that distracted then. That's brilliant. Um, Ibs, I've missed so many questions. Give me, give me some. Um, how different was it voicing for Bloody Fate compared to the games? Yeah, um, well, the team was different. Um, Jonathan Klein, who's a friend of mine, was the booth director, and that was really fun. We recorded uh, in Alfred Hitchcock's former editing suite at Shepperton Studios. Wow. That was really quite a thrill. Um, and I would say, because the creators weren't there, I suppose I had a little bit more input it, it, as to say, oh, well, Bayonetta wouldn't say that, or that doesn't sound English, or, you know, we, I think we took more time over it, actually. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Um, <laughs> that is not a question that we could ever ask. <laughs> um, oh, okay. So Mars Mars B four R S has picked out one of his favourite lines or one of her favourite lines, um, which is, "If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum." <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you want to have a look at the lines? So you... No, this oh, one. Okay. <laughs> If you need to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> um, uh, let's see if there's any other good lines that have come in. And that's actually, that line was actually asked for by quite a few people. Oh, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Actually, that's, uh, that's, that's going to be one of my new favourites now. <laughs> <laughs> what else have we got? Um, oh. Oh, Zelda fan's got a line. It's, uh, at least your lot still knows how to make an entrance. At least your lot still knows how to make an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the one thing... Now, I'm not a Bayonetta expert, Dread Angel, so I'm going to have to trust your judgement in this actually being a line. Um, how do the Americans put it? Oh, yes, bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> 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 That's the line. <laughs> Apparently, a uh, Dread Angel strikes me as quite a big fan. He's been very excited about it. I kind of remember that so line. Far, yeah. <laughs> so, is, was there something like "I'm going to," or is it just "How do the Americans"? Apparently, it was. It was this. How do the Americans put it? What oh yes, it? bust a cap in your ass. How do the Americans put it? Oh yes, bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Ibs, have you, have you got any? Got any? I'm quite far down the chain now. Yeah, um, you too. <laughs> oh, this is a great line from Dante86DMC. Your, 
Yours is a face only a mother could love and I could never forget. <laughs> and one I could never forget, sorry. Yours is a face only a mother could love and one could never forget. I think I got that wrong, didn't I? Uh, I think... Uh, where is it? Um, oh, I've lost it. That's a line from the first game. Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, Yours is a face only a mother could love and one I could never forget. Yours is a face only a mother could love and one I could never forget. <laughs> Someone wants to get the game just because of your voice now. Brilliant. Oh, that's oh, lovely. Yeah. Oh, thank sale. you so much. <laughs> but donate I'm instead. Don't yes. Save the money and donate to our, to our uh, Game Blast uh, Just Giving page instead. And then go and buy the game. <laughs> um, if you donate, you could get the PC case, which that, some yes. would say... Is better, than, is the better game. than the game. And maybe we'll even throw in a copy of the game with it, just for good measure. There you go. If, yeah. if we reach yeah. our target. You heard it here first. How, are, we, are we close? How, how far away are we now? From the target? Yeah. Halfway. Halfway? Okay, yeah. not bad. Yeah, 51%. Um, so, let's see if we've got any more good questions. Uh, so, so, Dr. Scottnick says... He is currently studying film and TV and was wondering, um, sorry, I'm, I'm losing his, oh, here we go. Do you have any tips or do's and don'ts from an actor's perspective on how to direct an actor? Um, I would say that every director should go to an acting class and act him or herself. Um, actors just love to play and the best directors um, give you confidence and enable you to fly. Just gives you, give you a structure and then you can use your imagination. So it's about creating a safe space in the room, a space where you can try things and fail. Mm. Um, it, it's like a really good game of tennis, you know, someone who's going to bat the ball back and forth. Um, I would say, yes, be an actor for a bit. Be an actor for a bit, okay. Yeah. I, I found that a lot because I worked on set for four and a half years in um, as crew in LA and I found a lot of the film directors on big movies have no clue how to direct actors. They think they're sort of moving pieces of furniture and they don't understand that it's it's quite difficult perhaps to come in in tears and do 50 takes of this yeah. thing, you know. It's, um, it's a specific art and to have compassion for your actor and trust in him or her yeah, I would say. I, I remember doing theatre studies at A level. Yeah. I was an awful actor. Absolutely yeah. terrible. Yeah. But Rubbish. you're in the creative arts now, so. But, well. It, it <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, it's not as easy as some people may think it looks, right? Being yeah. an actor. I can imagine it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Um, so there you go. So take do, do some acting classes, Dr. Scott Nick. Um, try being an actor for a bit so you, you can see it from the other side. Um, and also respect your crew and stage management. Yeah, that's very important as well, isn't it? They are the people to take care of, and they will take care of you. Mm. Yeah. All the people behind the scenes. Yeah. Mega Drive Twitch is asking any interesting stories from the booth while working on the Bayonetta games. Oh. Um, we recorded so fast because, um, it, you know, it's three takes and on and on and on. Um, I just remember some lovely conversations with Chris Zimmerman Salter about her goats that she keeps in Sand Canyon, and uh, that was nice. Um, I also remember some funny um, things before Bayonetta um, on a game I worked worked on, and uh, we were, I think. Trying to, it was it was a very clicky track, and there was a lot of sort of mucus. <laughs> so we tried everything from green apples, and we settled on gargling with red wine. That sounds great. <laughs> I spat it out, Aww. but you know, <laughs> that was that caused great amusement. <laughs> so sorry, we, there's a lot of there's a lot of we love Helena. That's nice. That's good. Thank you. <laughs> um, is there 
anything you uh, so Kai Kai has is got another question for you about voice acting and then yes. it was it's uh, anything that you wish you knew about voice acting before you got started um, quite how enjoyable it was mm. um, I don't think that I could have been a voice actor without the training I got at Lambda there's no way um, so I felt really well equipped when I started and thought, my God, why didn't I get into this sooner? Mm. And uh, Lambda's a, um, it's quite a uh, prestigious acting college, yes. right? Yeah, I was very lucky to get in. There were 10 girls in my year. Really? Yeah. So did everybody that, jo that joined have to go through audition processes? Oh, yes, like yeah. So it must be quite tough to get into it. Um, for girls, it was one in every 2,000. Wow. Yeah, it's tough. Wow, that is, that is tough, yeah. <laughs> I would say so far, in a chunk of my life, it was the best three years of my life so far. Oh, cool. Yeah, really fun. Good. Um, if a live action Bayonetta film ever was ever to be made, who would be your dream actress to play her? That's a question from Dr. Scott Nick again. Oh, good questions, Dr. Th Scott Nick. very good questions. Mm. Mm. I'd have to think about that. Okay. Ben Birdwick has donated. Thank you. Um, Thank asked, you, Ben. Last question: um, What aspect is the mo are you most looking forward to about Bayonetta three? Working on Bayonetta three. I'm hoping that they'll show me some of the artwork. I think the artwork is really beautiful, and um, I like the worlds that they create. And hopefully, they trust me enough now to show me a little, a few little clips. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> I haven't. Just so everyone knows, I haven't been asked yet to do Bayonetta three. Um, because I think it's quite early in the development. I presume that I will be asked, but once I do get asked, I'm not allowed to say that I'm doing it. So <laughs> 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 it's, it's a bit of a catch-22, but I haven't, I honestly have not been asked yet. I'm sure you will be. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost certain, right? It's <laughs> yes. got to be. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Chico Chan asks um, if... <laughs> I'm also wondering about what they're going to do with her hair this time. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Just, uh, what do you think they're going to do with her hair? Shave it. Shave it? <laughs> <laughs> but, Full yeah. new head. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She'd have to actually wear clothes. That wouldn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> she had very short hair. The second one. Funky, so spiky. Because, yeah, mm. um, he can Mohican. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Claire Foy. I think she'd be a great bayonetta because she can play anybody. She plays the queen very well. Okay, yeah. That'd be good. It's kind of a little uh, under the radar, but yeah, Claire Foy. <laughs> okay. There we go. A few people are saying they're not going to be able to accept bayonetta for you if you're not in it. Well, thank you very much. I'm so glad. <laughs> Nor should you. Platinum are watching. The people have spoken. Yeah. Um, would you be... Uh, Shiko Chan wants to know, um, <laughs> would you be friends with Bayonetta and hang out with her if she was real? I think this is a very yes, important question. I would. Because I think she's... It would be a very exciting life, wouldn't it? There's never a dull moment. <laughs> very true. You know, and her clothing is just fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she could give me some style tips. <laughs> <laughs> she could give us all some style tips. Um, and also, you'd feel very safe, wouldn't you? You would, yeah. yeah. No one's going to mess with you. No, if you, got you wouldn't get answer. mugged on a Saturday night, would you? No, <laughs> no definitely not. <laughs> oh. There's a lot of love for your uh, Claire Foy um, uh, suggestion. That's good. What's your Pergman wants to know what your favourite TV programme is? Um, I loved The Night Manager. John Le Carre's The Night Manager. That's the best thing I've seen for years. Um, I like. Uh, 
I like things like Strictly Come Dancing and Escape to the Country. I'm very, they're very non bayonetta things, but I, I like, I think there's enough strife in the world. I like things that are calm and nice and fluffy. I'd also like to think that Bayonetta likes those things too, you know. She's had a hard day fighting oh, yes. monsters. Oh, yes, yes. Put her feet up. Escape to the Country, Escape to the Country goes on, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'd like a few sheep. I'm a little <laughs> bored of all these angels, you know. <laughs> What is do you, I mean? Uh, someone's asked about the music from uh, Bayonetta. Do you have you heard much of the music from? Um, the... Fans send me clips of the music. Mm. Um, I should probably really play it, but it would be so weird to hear yourself. I don't. We could teach. We could get for him to teach you how to play it. Uh... Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I'd I'm be rubbish though. I'm just embarrassing on you myself. You, you don't have to. You're not. You, you, you're not obliged to. Sorry. Um, but yeah, if you want I'm to. completely useless. <laughs> no, I'm truly fine. <laughs> you got a great teacher. He just golded the last two levels, wow. as far as I know. So. Wow. Well, if, if you feel like it, we, we can do that. Um, so, where are we at with questions? Oh, some. What? <laughs> so, Veronica Janae. Um, is interested in, in what your hobbies are. Oh, yes, hobbies. Um, I've started to take Argentine tango class. Okay. It's quite difficult, but I really enjoy it. Um, I used to bell ring the big, massive church bells. Really? Um, that, that was really fun and also very difficult. Um, I live on a barge on the River Thames. So I love wildlife and animals. Um, I like to read. I like to go to the theatre. I like to bake. I'm not particularly good at it, but <laughs> I, I do enjoy it. Making a mess in the kitchen. Do you make a, a, a mean Austrian chocolate cake? No, I wouldn't even dream to. <laughs> the, in fact, the recipe for the Sacher torte is secret. The Hotel Sacher, it's, uh, oh, okay. you can't get a proper recipe for it. Oh, that's cool. Um, does it get quite cold living on a barge in the winter? No, no. Um, got central heating and a wood-burning stove, so no. It's in fact, it's a, it's quite a small space, so it heats up very quickly. So no one asked that on the stream. I've just always wondered myself. Yeah, no. I always it's, think it's when you lovely. walk past a, uh, like through Little Venice, it's really, it's all really pretty. And yes. you think, oh, it must be lovely to live <laughs> on a barge. Um, so where are we? Did you have any other questions, Ibs, that you've seen that I've missed? Uh, not appropriate ones, no. <laughs> Keep them clean and appropriate. <laughs> right, yeah. um, so, or maybe while we're waiting for some more some more questions to come in, then we can we can do some. We've got these awesome uh, pieces of art to give away, um, which Helen's very kindly agreed to sign for us. Um, so maybe we could do a bit of signing yeah, while sure. we collate some additional questions. Yeah. Um, how are you getting on there, Fahim? Great game. <laughs> Good. Are you doing well? Hope so. <laughs> well, I'll sign it at the bottom. I don't want to sign over the artwork. It's beautiful. Um, well, there's some, some important questions coming in here. Fran Franaris. Pineapple on pizza. Oh. Yes, definitely. We just gave five viewers. I agree. I asked that question. I'm pizza. Yes, it's true. Pineapple on pizza for sure. For sure. <laughs> the, the ham and pineapple, the the Hawaiian pizza. Yeah. It is an underrated pizza. It is not. It's too watery. The pineapple ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> strong opinions about pineapple really and pizza. We spent 24 hours with each other in a, in a room now. <laughs> We've reached new levels of <laughs> debate and conversation. <laughs> <laughs> favourite breed of dog? Um, I'm an absolute passionate dog fan. I love all dogs. Um, I'm particularly fond of rescue dogs. Um, 
but I will get a dog in a few years, a couple of years, when I'm ready, and um, I've picked out a mini schnauzer. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I wanted a big dog, and I did a lot of research, and I, I settled on Scottish Deerhound because they're very mellow, and um, then I walked my neighbour's blind mini schnauzer and fell in love with him because he was so funny. <laughs> so I'm going to get two dogs. I'm going to rescue a blind um, elderly dog and then get a mini schnauzer puppy. Amazing. So, yeah. Lovely. Huge dog fan. I don't want to smudge them. I'm oh, that's okay. Shall I? I yeah, should just, make some room yeah. for them, really, shouldn't I? I should make myself useful. <coughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Set a supply chain down. Um. <coughs> Do I miss any ifs that we've got? Uh, Same questions as before. Oh, they're, they're not together. Yeah, they're um, oh, so that's great. Yeah. Now, now there's some debate about whether the, the the character Bayonetta should should have a dog in Bayonetta three. Oh, I, I would say yes. Absolutely, yeah. I would say yes. Yeah. I wonder what kind of dog. Um, either something like a Doberman. They're actually really sweet Dobermans. Um, or something very scruffy like the dog in Annie, that's very <laughs> different, you know, there's something that you wouldn't expect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd quite like to see her with a pug, because I think it's hugely <laughs> ironic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Little yes. A black pug, yes. Black pug, <coughs> just sort of looking at things, very confused all the time. Um, who would win if this... Right, Daz252. This is a silly question, and we all know the answer to it, but I'm going to ask it anyway. Who would win in a fight between Bayonetta and Sabrina the Teenage Witch? I think they'd end up having tea together. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think they would. I watch a whole sitcom of that. <laughs> so would I, yeah. <laughs> These are really Dread, Dread Angel thinks that Bayonetta would uh, would have a Bichon Frise. <laughs> yes. Why not? Yeah, very good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so, Sahira Hyena says, Hi, Helena. I think you're Hello. awesome, and I loved you in Bayonetta. Thank you. Uh, and her question is, or his question is, sorry, uh, which convention would you most like to be invited to um, in the world, I guess? Would you ever visit Canadian conventions? Of are? course I would. I just need an invite. Just an invite. That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, Joe2187 says, just wants to thank you for giving us this great character. And he's replaying Bayo 1 and Bayo 2 for the 20th time now on Switch, and you can't wait for the third one. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, what do, what do you think of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog? He's, he's watching over us in the corner over there, covered in balloons. Um, I think he's very charming. <laughs> <laughs> he certainly is, and he pays all our wages. <laughs> <laughs> we love him, we love him. <laughs> oh, these are different ones, they're pretty. Yeah. Blue colour. <laughs> So um, the I'd be interested in asking the fans, what do you think she should do with her hair in the next one? That's a great do you question. prefer her with long hair or short hair? What do you think, guys? Long hair or short hair? Oh, well, actually, someone has literally just asked that question. What hairstyle would Helen like to see Bayonetta wear in Bayonetta three? So um, I like her with long hair because I have long hair. You know, it's just uh, the way it is. Um, I, I might say something funny like a beehive, but that would look stupid. <laughs> it would ruin the lines. It, it is, it is uh, coming, with, coming up with some amusing answers. Uh, no hair. Yeah. Um, that's, uh, I want to see long hair with colour streaks. Yeah, uh, yeah, good, very it? nice. Um, Dread Angel says she should let her hair down because it's so long. Um, I don't know what a heim cut is. I, I, someone suggested that. Ponytail. A mix of both short and long. I'm not sure if that's... A mullet. A mullet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was go. never a 
good look. Lee Tyler Gamer <laughs> wants Bayonetta to have a mullet. Um, uh, someone else is bald. So, yeah. <laughs> so Probably getting a lot of that. Fangirling. Yeah, there's a lot of yeah. Good, yeah. Someone else has mentioned mullet. Just long eyebrows, Ghost Guy. So no hair and just long eyebrows. That would be okay. a bit strange. That's different. Yeah. Um, buzz cut. Buzz cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, yes, there we go. A perm from a Daz a 2. A perm! Suggest. We're gonna, if, if there was like an 80s prequel on mid early 90s prequel to Bayonetta where she had a perm, that'd be amazing, yeah. That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> an afro, that'd be great. Um, um, there's a few questions. I, d I don't know much about the relationship between Bayonetta and, and Jean, but yeah, there's a lot of questions being asked about that. Yeah. Um, Mark your sofa. Oh, that's right. in orange, that's though, right. so it's good. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> Probably increase the value. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's quite a lot of love for the uh, bayonetta perm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Does bayonetta love Jean? Do, does she? Do we know? Um. Well, yes. She yes, does. she loves quite fiercely and intensely, so yes, she does. There you go. I hope that answers all the Bayonetta and Jean questions that are coming in. Um, braids, braided hair. Braids, so she yeah. Can use them can as do whips. braids. Yeah, good. that's yeah. good. There we go. That's the last of them. E. Granderson would like to know where, what place in the world would you like to visit that you haven't been to already? Oh, I'd really. Um, Love to go. Gosh, can I mention a couple? Yeah, go for it. I'd like to go to Costa Rica. Um, I'd like to go to India. Um, I've never been to Prague. That's an easy one. Um, hmm. I'd like to go to a lot of places, actually. Yeah. Some good choice places. Yeah. Let's go to. Yeah. I'd like to go to all those places too. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have? Do you have a favourite character in the Bayo series other than Bayonetta? Um, I would say Cereza, but that's kind of the same thing. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Dr. Scottnick has another good question. Dr. Scottnick, your question is great. Wonderful. Brilliant. Yeah. When you first went to record your lines for Bayonetta, did you expect it to make such such an Im the impact that it's had? Never had a clue. Um, no, I I didn't expect it to, to be this big. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, this great fan base. Had they it? shown me any of it, I might have thought, oh, this is really good, but they didn't. When, <laughs> so when did you, after doing the voice acting, when did you first see uh, footage of the game or the game in action? Um, when it was out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you had no they idea. don't trust me at all for some reason. I don't know <laughs> why, but that's the same with every voice actor. They have to sign a non-disclosure agreement, and um, it's it's a shame, really, because uh, I'd have liked to have seen more of it. But so you that's mentioned the way earlier they do it. you saw a little bit of art, concept art, right, before you voiced it. Yes, a, um, a line drawing. A line of drawing. Her, yeah, in black and white. So what was it like when you? Um, when you finally saw the finished product and you could see this character in action and hear your voice behind it? Um, well, I, th I was I was really impressed. I was just in love with the artwork and um, that, in fact, you know, to see her in the flesh in Technicolor was really cool. Yeah. 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 She's, um, and I thought, good, I, I was on the right track, you know. Yeah, it's with this sort of stab in the dark that, <laughs> that I did. <laughs> it's basically, yeah, I guess it's uh, it's made made the character who she is, isn't it? Really. So. I, ho I hope so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think everyone on the stream thinks, like, "Oh, my battery's going to die." This is this is embarrassing. <laughs> um, 
Ibs, do you want to take over while I run and get my battery back? <laughs> there's, there's a wire here, there's a wire here. Oh, is that? Oh, okay, great. Right. 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 Cool. Yeah, I don't need to run away. It's like you've thought of everything. Um, <laughs> it's a strange question. Um, Has anyone in the room got any questions? Because all the questions coming in on the stream now are, uh, are kind of similar to ones that have been asked already. Well, I'd like to ask you a bit more about the charity. Um, oh, yeah. Uh, for disabled gamers. That's right. That's really interesting. Tell me more about that. So Special Effects is a UK-based charity that uh, help improve the quality of life of um, uh, people that have suffered um, se uh, severe disabilities through accidents or... or um, or when they were born, um, and they sort of they develop technology to help them um, pl not just play computer games, but to um, just improve their overall quality of life. Right. So um, we're, we're running a video as part of the stream of periodically to show some of the great work that they do. Um, but yeah, they're a very very good charity, and they're very well supported by the games industry so this whole oh, good, um, good. live stream yes. they, this, this game blast basically is uh, how many games blast streams are going on right now like yeah so all around the country um, people are doing these 24 hour streams to raise money yeah. for special effects so that's yeah that's why we're here um, to try and help some more of some help the charity yeah help reach more people basically that's really cool great yeah there's some very inspirational stories out there isn't there so uh, there's a guy on the video who who um, came into the office he was um, he is paralyzed from the neck down I can't remember how it happened some uh, I think it might have been a car accident um, and through the technology that um, and the help that he received from special effect he was able to um, uh, go to university uh, study law he got first wow. um, and he came in and, and gave us a talk a few few months back um, yeah it was really inspirational That's to see cool. how someone has overcome so much adversity with the health of special effects yeah. and to really continue living their life in the way they want to so. yeah it's cool brilliant yeah. <laughs> so get donating so that we can you know help more people so that special effects can help more people we're up to uh, where are we up to we have a just fun? over 1100 oh wow so since we've been sitting here we've gone we've Received over 150,000 donations. That's yep. good. Great, thank you. Great. That's all the Bayonetta fans, thank you. Um, so there's some more questions coming in now. Um, do do you play any games um, at all, or, or not really? No, I don't. Isn't that terrible? No, not really. You've got <laughs> other things to do. I do. Yeah. <laughs> it's completely normal. Yeah. I don't play that many games anymore. Um, I play a lot of games on my phone, but you get caught up doing other things, right? Okay. Um, the fans do want to see you play this game, though. They do, yeah. <laughs> I think it'd be Now this is going to be embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it'd be quite cool. I think we'll have to, like, prize the controllers from... from this <laughs> game. Let, let him finish this yeah. game. Let him finish this game. We could take you through the... Is there a, a tutorial level? Or? I hope That's so. Right. I'm not going to play at this yeah. level. Yeah, all right. Let's oh, sorry, maybe we'll do hit. that. You got hit. So we, <laughs> I love that you apologise. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I got grabbed. <laughs> oh, no. Big demons. So how are we giving away these um, bits of art on the stream? Have we got a so we've been giving away bundles of just general Sega swag throughout the stream, like one every three hours or so. We've been able to comprise like eight bundles. So these signed artworks are going to make up part of those side bundles. Uh, so basically, it's just enhancing uh, reasons for people to get involved in, in engaging in the industry cool. and donating to the charity. Cool. So what what does um what's a, what's in a bundle? The next bundle. Oh, uh, there's loads of stuff. Um, the next bundle's down there. I mean, Kevin, you want to grab it? Kev's going to model the bundle for us. <laughs> model. Pretty cool. We 
we've been told that this T-shirt can fit a cat. Or a small or, dog. Or a small dog. <laughs> but we've, we've been debating this for about 14 hours, so... <laughs> it's open to interpretation, really. That's the cat. Yeah. We have little baby grows for these, don't we? When, when, a, yeah, when a member of staff has a, um, a baby or... or um, we have a little to be this good tech ages baby grows that we Oh, send that's them. good. So, so congratulations. They're very cute. So you've got a second notepad, a uh, total Warhammer 2, a uh, metal game case, Medieval 2. Go on, you can do it. It's been a day. <laughs> you can smell yeah, this properly. You can smell so many times. I forgot already. Gendarme. Ah! <laughs> Gendarme. <Gindarmi. laughs> <laughs> Is that one still? Possibly. Gendarme. 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 Whatever. I think we're doing it. That's how we're going to end up doing this. Uh, Total War, uh, USB keying, two Dawn of War, 40k. USB sticks as USB well. They're in the shape of a chainsaw. Chainsaw. That's awesome. Uh, uh, monkey ball, uh, keychain, <laughs> sonic colours, uh, wristband. They're quite rare. Uh, Mike's game soundtrack, and that's the... It's a Pio Pio Tetris balloon. Pio Pio Tetris balloon? Yeah. It's underground it, you have one behind us here. Surprisingly elusive. Yeah. Has well, <laughs> and now Animized some box. awesome Bayonetta signed, uh, artwork, signed yes. artwork from Helena. So, yeah. great. Just to be clear, I didn't draw it myself. <laughs> 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 Mike, you want to tell them what the grand prizes once we hit our goal that's right behind you. So if we hit our 2,000 goal in Just Giving, which we're 850 pounds away, um, we have a Bayonetta case, which is behind me, I can move that a little away, uh, which we're also going to get uh, Helena here to sign, um, and we will give that away to a lucky person. It could be you. Just to like highlight how cool these, well, how rare these are as well, we had five made custom made and this is the last one all of the others were, um, were 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 given away already so this is the last one left available to anybody anywhere in the world unless you get it made yourself but if you do it's not going to look that cool this is awesome so you should definitely won't have a signature. won't have a signature yeah so it'll be the only one in the world with Helen's signature we're so. also giving away a couple of other bits with it I do believe we're giving away a Dawn of War 3 collector's edition as well as a Warhammer Total War 2 collector's edition most things are worth like what? Over 150 quid pounds. each? Yeah. So it's a big old prize bundle if we meet that target. So for him, are you ready to are you ready to give a demo? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is what all the fans want to see. Oh my god, this is gonna be so embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, first we need to get out of uh, this mission. The main story. What do I need to do? I'll, I'll put out. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe yeah, we won't start at the uh, halfway through the game. Ooh, excellent weapon choice. and put it on, on easy mode. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. He's way ahead of me. Okay, so what are so these? This is punch, kick, jump. That's on here. And this is a, uh, which time? Uh, if you time it just right, it'll be which time? Oh, dodge. Dodge. Dodge, yes. Punch, kick, jump. Yes. Yeah, okay. You can just keep pressing, uh, punching it. It'll, it'll get really cool looking combos. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Jump! <laughs> Long since erased from the records of time, there once existed two European clans who served as overseers of history. Dread Angel is in love with this. Oh, I kicked that one. Uh, 
thinks it's great that we get to see Helena playing this game for the first time. That is awesome. We should have we should have advertised this on the street. If we knew. Dr. Scott Nick says you're pretty good. Uh, thank you. <laughs> concentrating everyone. Quick ask her more questions. <laughs> But yes, as Daz252 rightly points out, now you can say that you played it. Yes. There we go. How long do I have to keep going? <laughs> well, the stream with we we're live until 6 o'clock. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god, no, I can't stay till 6. <laughs> <laughs> we're all going to go home and sleep, so uh, thanks. <laughs> when, when so, so you've been, it will have been 24 hours, huh? By yeah. 6 o'clock. Yeah. 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 And the next game we've got up is Space Channel 5, right? When, when would you put that on? Oh! No. Mercy! Raven West 75 notes that this is pretty meta. Bayonetta playing Bayonetta. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonetta. That also rhymes, which is pretty cool. Awesome. <laughs> Did someone just say Bayonetta? No, no, I enjoyed it. it was, I wish we'd said it louder. <laughs> Too much time in this room. Well, what do you do with the big ones? Hit them just harder. Just yes. <laughs> <laughs> big and yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Super fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you weren't, keep, you weren't wrong earlier uh, on when you said you imagined her punching dragons. Punching. Yes, yeah, that's punching good. Dragons. <laughs> But I did imagine that they were green for some reason. And maybe not with two heads. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 I remember they got me to say things like Avavago and stuff like that. I was like, what the heck is this? <laughs> There you go. Well, you've done quite well Ta -da. there. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> Great. Oh, Melaine says thanks, thanks for coming on, Helena, and making this 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 whole section a lot of fun. Great. So Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, wow.